This is Rainwater System. It is June 19th, 2023, and we are tearing out brand new drainage and then reinstalling new stuff in probably the most egregious case of shoddy drainage work that we've had to remove. We are blessed in that we've been able to examine a lot of systems that were put in that are not working and um, figure out why they're not working. But um, this customer got an estimate from us. And as a lot of times the case is, you know, somebody came in cheaper. And sometimes the customers will go for that bid. But this, this one uh, customer water tested his, his brand new drainage system. And the water basically went straight into the crawl space. So he was, um, called me to have me come out and take a look. And I was able to see that this drainage system, well, it had all the right parts and it finished up with the strip of gravel or most of the right parts. But the, but the holes were on the pipe. When I removed the pipe from the ground, the holes are at the top. So that's backwards. So basically these, these trenches would have had to fill up with about five inches of water before it reached the holes and whatever didn't would soak back down into the crawl space. So the idea of these French drains to extract water out of the ground is you know, water enters the trench, it, it goes into these holes that are just off center of the bottom, and then the water moves along the pipe to the exit point. French drains are not designed to put water into the ground. That's a misused term French drain is a misused term in San Diego the contractors will be like we're gonna run this drain over into some gravel and it'll absorb into the ground that's technically an infiltration basis a French drain is designed to extract water out of the ground so when we're able to examine these drainage systems and I was able to reach my hand into the pipe fill these holes and say you know I'm sorry sir but this system's a complete wash for you and he actually didn't need much convincing because the water, these, these actually made the situation worse for him in that the water accelerated into the crawl space entry. So we're going to tear all this out. We're gonna pile up this, this drainage. We're gonna use some of it. Um, it's kind of funny that this pipe here, one thing a lot of people don't know about triple wall pipe, some people, or just typical triple triple wall pipe is that it's it's not a durable pipe. So oops, sorry about that. Um, that's a whole lot of video to redo. So, but like this triple wall pipe, the guys will glue it, but glue doesn't stick to it. So sometimes. Um, Noticing that the, the joints on this type of pipe are glued or taped. And you see, well, it's not, that doesn't look professional. But the fact of the matter is, is this pipe can't be glued. There's no glue that works on this stuff. And why that is, I couldn't tell you. But the joints on this type of pipe get, get taped with uh, tape. And then the, the pipes need to be installed with slope. And then they're routed to a, a point where they can exit. And on this one, we're installing sump pumps next to these crawl spaces because these crawl spaces are substantially lower than the surface of the house. So it's n normal that they're going to get moisture and water in them. So this is part one of this, this project, the demolition of a brand new drainage system that's less than two weeks old I mean, and you know kind of hoping the homeowner might comment something about this when it's all said and done i know he's gonna water test everything so be curious to know what he thinks about the way we've done this compared to what he just paid for so this is part one i'll follow up part two at the completion of the job